Welcome, bienvenue au Welcome Centre Spatial de Space Center here in Ici, à Kourou, le berceau d'Ariane Space, pour un lancement de ce soir. C'est la marque de fabrique d'Ariane 5 qui porte trademark. son nom. On Ce board soir, this evening, two telecommunication satellites, T-16 and UTELSAT 7C. Une mission relativement courte this is a soir, relatively short mission this evening, which will last shortly over half an hour from liftoff until the satellites are separated. Ariane 5 has a mass at liftoff of 775 tons and stands 51 meters tall, the length of an Olympic swimming pool. It's made up of the main cryogenic stage and two solid rocket boosters, and on top, the cryotechnical upper stage, the equipment bay, and the fairing, which encloses tonight's passengers. Built by Airbus Defense and Space in Toulouse, T-16 will provide DTH broadcasting services throughout the continental United States. And New tells that 7C will cover Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. Final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. Allumage moteur Vulcan. Allumage UAP et top décollage. local time and right on time you saw it Ariane 5 began her mission roaring off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire going up through the thin cloud layer we had so much rain today we didn't think we'd have any visibility at all but look at her go she's carrying two satellites two new telecom satellites the two boosters providing 90 that's 90 percent of our thrust right now propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity 775 tons at liftoff and to get that sort of mass off the ground you need a lot of push and you can see push we have she's burning five tons of fuel every second that's two and a half tons of fuel every second in each booster and the core stage burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second into the blue sky she goes beginning her fifth mission of the year Ariane 5 now following the program and the onboard computer which gives all the orders including stage separations which we'll soon begin to see in about 20 seconds we're in the first of four flight phases and we'll describe each in turn and in detail you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic the first three phases are powered like this one and the fourth is not right now the first flight phase the single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning another about uh, 12 seconds for them and they will be the first to be extinguished and you'll hear that from the DDO but also with the camera work we have you'll see the flame out there should be right about now that looks like the flame out right there you are the two boosters falling away on either side you see that very clearly and the dot in the middle that is the core stage area and continuing on her way very clear shots haven't seen this in quite a while the first flight phase using both cryogenic and storable propellant cryogenic in the main stage with the dot that's still burning and storable propellant in the boosters who have done their job their uh, pros and cons to each cryogenic propulsion offers certain advantages as uh, getting us off uh, the ground and it is more precise the DDO has confirmed of course separation of the two boosters the boosters will fall away uh, about 500 uh, kilometers from shore into a protected area next up fairing separation and with this visibility you'll probably able to see that as well and 
and you can see that perfectly clear. The two light blue dots, those are the two halves of the fairing falling away from the mother ship. We haven't seen clear skies like this in at least a year. So this is a wonderful, wonderful sight. Arian, the main dot in the middle, the dot of light, is the first stage continuing again on her mission. The two points of light falling away, those are the halves of the fairing. We don't even need the onboard camera that we have because this is much better. All right, we've had, as you've seen on the screen, the cutoff of the lower stage, the separation of the lower stage, and the ignition of the upper stage. You saw the ignition on the animation. Confirmation from the DDO of those three events coming like up to on top gives you an idea. All eyes on the computer screens, all ears on the phones, awaiting word. There's the scheduled separation on the animation. Du satellite o, T16. And that's what we we're waiting for. Confirmation from the DDO. And you see Chris Ho. There you see on the animation scheduled separation of the SILDA. Separation du système de lancement double Ariane. And the DDO's confirmation of that. Out over the Indian Ocean. Coming up on separation of Utilsat tonight, representing years of work for many of these people across the base. Everyone attentive as we near separation, as they await the DDO's confirmation of separation of their satellite, just like the T-16 people went through the same moments ago. Again, a moment of high concentration. And there's a scheduled separation, waiting for the DDO confirmation. Separation du satellite bas E7C.